Predictions that Australia's unemployment rate could hit a decade high of six and a quarter percent in a year was a shock to some. But some analysts say we're almost there right now. A report by the Centre for Independent Studies maintains that if not for government manipulation, Australia's unemployment rate would be over six percent. Here's finance correspondent Philip Lasker. They are the numbers that enhance or diminish a government's reputation like no others. Unemployment is a major issue of this campaign and both parties are ignoring it because they rely on the ABS figure which is absolutely wrong. Look, uh, for me, when I, as a labour market researcher, the unemployment rate is one of the least helpful indicators for understanding what's going on. But for a government, the jobs numbers are a stark indicator of economic management and researcher Andrew Baker has accused this government of sinister motives. The government has been manipulating the unemployment rate to reduce it such for, for their political benefit. Oh, I just think that's a ridiculous proposition. That's just not true. Everybody looks at the ABS numbers, so this is not about changing rules to make the unemployment look different. Andrew Baker says in 2009, as the global financial crisis hit, the government changed the activity test requirements for people on the dole. Those receiving New Start allowance and youth allowance in training courses were classified as non-job seekers, even though they were receiving unemployment benefits. And as non-job seekers, they are not required to look for work and therefore not counted in the unemployment rate. I estimate that the unemployment rate will be up to 0.5% points higher than it currently is. So uh, with the unemployment rate at 5.7% at the moment, it would be closer to 6.2%. The number of non-job seekers on the New Start allowance, for example, has grown since 2009 compared to the number of job seekers receiving the allowance. Yeah. The CIS says okay. the number of people on unemployment benefits who are training and not job seeking has soared by 138% in three years. I think on the whole education and training it's improves people's lives, but for some people they are worse off by being put into education and training. Things that many people would take for granted are often big news for the long-term unemployed, so you do need specific interventions to literally make these people employable. But the evidence on the effectiveness of training programs is patchy. Most of us think that one year in training is probably better than one year being unemployed and doing just job searching. But that's a contentious point. And now that we've had the program for some time, I think it is a good idea to look and see how well it's uh, working. That judgment is made more difficult by one inescapable fact. It doesn't matter whether you change one finding guideline or not, there just isn't enough demand to employ all the people we've got. Pollster Gary Morgan releases his own jobs numbers which accounts for what he considers the biggest problem. We have not only 1.25 million unemployed in Australia, we have nearly another 1.2 who are underemployed. Those people who'd like more work. It's an issue that hasn't escaped the Bureau of Statistics, regarded as one of the world's finest, which has plans to release more timely information on underemployment.